Hi everybody, my name is Curtis Widener and I'm a member of the MV product team here at Meraki. Today I'm going to be taking you through how to properly install the MV72's waterproof gland. Installed correctly, the MV72 can stream happily from inside of a bathtub, but done incorrectly, you're at serious risk for water damage. So we highly recommend you watch this video and check out the documentation that we link below. So because this is an outdoor camera and a lot of you will probably be installing it on a ladder, I'm going to do the same thing right now and install it on a ladder. Just like this one. For this procedure, it's important not to use a booted patch cable as the pieces just won't fit. Second, make sure you've got a spot to place all the small loose parts of the gland like the ladder tray or a shirt pocket. The four main pieces come assembled in the box. To separate them, start by tightly gripping the bottom RJ45 pigtail in one hand and the top part in the other. Twist the top counterclockwise to unlock it from the RJ45 pigtail as shown. Make sure that the rubber o-ring that was between the base and the pigtail stays on the pigtail. You can set this part aside for the first few steps of the assembly. After ensuring you've got a spot to place all the small loose parts, hold the top part upright with the larger opening at the bottom to ensure the pieces do not fall out. Then, carefully unscrew the top part to separate this into two coupled pieces the sealing nut, and the coupling body. Inside, you will see the two final pieces, the cage, and the two-piece rubber seal. This is where something like a ladder tray is going to come in handy. Let's call the four main pieces the sealing nut, the cage, the coupling body, and the two-piece rubber seal. The diagram on your screen shows all the pieces and their orientations. Now, we're going to assemble the gland. Prepare your patch cable with an RJ45 Ethernet connection. Remember not to use a booted patch cable. Start by inserting the end of the cable into the top of the ceiling nut which has a rectangular opening. Next, put the cage on claws first over the patch cable end. Ensure you do not bend the claws too much while you work the claws over the plug. Afterwards, hold the cable tightly in one hand between the cage and the ceiling nut to prevent these pieces from getting stuck. Ensure you have room at the end of the cable to insert the next piece. With your other hand still holding the cable in between the ceiling nut and the cage, put the patch cable through the coupling body, starting with the top end. Now, plug the patch cable into the RJ45 pigtail on the camera. Slide the coupling body over the head of the patch cable, which should now be plugged in, and then twist to lock and align the notches on the side. Make sure that the O-ring is still present. To install the two-piece rubber seal, grab the first piece and place it under the cable as shown. Next, grab the second half and lock the two in place, ensuring the tapered sides are exposed. Finally, firmly push it into the end of the coupling body to make sure everything is tightly sealed. Slide the cage over the rubber seal and align the teeth of the cage to those of the coupling body. Make sure everything stays in place here. Finally, slide the sealing nut over the cage and tightly screw it into the coupling body to create a seal between the cage and the rubber seal. The sealing nut and the cage will compress the rubber seal around the cable to protect it from the elements. The claws of the cage should be evenly arranged around the opening of the sealing nut. And that's it. When installed correctly, your MV72 will now be completely waterproof. You can confidently use it for all your outdoor video surveillance needs, rain or shine. We invite you to check out the documentation we provided below and thank you so much for watching.